yo what's up guys you are welcome back to across nigeria where we publish news on politics celebrities and also metro story today is the fourth day of october 2019 and um i really don't know how to put it but it is one of the day a lot of nigerians were actually waiting for i'm talking about uh, the bell application of Omoyele Sowere, the convener of Re revolution noun campaign protest. All right, so um, Sowere has been granted bail, okay, but so far, uh, the senior advocate of Nigeria, Femi Falana, has frowned at the strict bail condition given to Sowere by the Federal High Court Abuja today, being Friday, the fourth day. Of October 2019. Justice Joma Ojuku, um, while ruling on the bail application of um, the activist and the publisher of Sahara Reporters, Omo Yele Sowere, and um, also Oluwale Bakare, okay, a lot of people know him as Mandate, uh, submitted that Sowere should provide 100 million and two shorties in like sum. So the judge also said that um, one of the shorties must own landed property and deposit 50 million naira and show evidence of tax payment since 2016. So while Sowere was barred from traveling outside Abuja and also speaking to the press, it's almost the same condition that was given to uh, Namdi Kano. He was barred from speaking to the press, all right? Uh, but mandate that is Bakere, okay, who is the second defendant um, in the matter, was asked to provide 50 million with one shorty in like sum as bail condition. So the young man was also barred from speaking to the press and traveling outside Oshun State where he resides pending the completion of the trial. Reacting to the ruling, Falana said that he would be meeting with his legal team all right, to ask the court for waivers on the strict bail conditions uh, because his clients had uh, committed no offense. He said, um, according to Falana, he said we would take appropriate steps to ensure uh, that our clients gain their freedom as soon as possible. So the defendant had been uh, taken back to the DSS custody pending the fulfillment of their bail condition. Sobre was arrested, as we all know, by DSS in um, Lagos on August 3, 2019, for calling on Nigerians to take to the street in peaceful demonstrations uh, to express their displeasure at the poor state of governance in the country. So on September 30, uh, the Justice Taiwo Taiwo of the Federal High Court, Abuja, granted him bail and ordered the DSS to release him after he met the condition given by depositing his international passport with the court. But despite that ruling, um, the federal government, should I, call, should I say the federal government or the DSS, refused to free uh, Sowere, okay, so it actually attracted condemnation from across the world. So the government is charging Sowere for act of money laundering, insulting Buhari, and planning to bring down his government. Charges the um, activists, okay, and deny that um, he had been described by legal practitioners across and beyond Nigeria as laughable and baseless. All right, the matter was adjourned to November, so um, that is it. On uh, it has been adjourned to November six, seven, and eight for a celebrated uh, trial. All right. So that is the update I have for you uh, guys today, this evening, the fourth day of October uh, two thousand and nineteen. But meanwhile, the initiative for citizens' rights, accountability, and development had said that um, the Department of State Service DSS must begin to obey court orders, otherwise there will be anarchy. So the organization, through its executive director, Hazan Lukman, said this in a press conference. So Lukman lamented the rate at which 
the security agency disregards the rule of law saying it is becoming worrisome scary and unhealthy so according to him he said right to liberty and dignity of human persons are superior rights they cannot be taken for granted by any arms of government or their agencies even the holders of such right cannot sign them away as they are uh, in a lane boom. It is therefore worrisome, scary, and unhealthy the rate at which the DSS is disobeying and disregarding this right. Once there is a valid order of the court, it must be obeyed, otherwise, there will be anarchy. So the DSS um, had the opportunity of telling the court, according to him, had the opportunity of telling the court why Sowere should not be released. But the court, rightly so, thought otherwise after considering the strength of the cases of both Sowere and the DSS. So after all, the most imperative consideration the court is expected to have in an application for bail is the availability of the applicants to face trial. So the case of Sowere um, is a clear example of abuse of power, disregard for rule of law, and um, discretion of the sacred temple of justice as if dss has not done enough by its um, flagrant disobedience of the court order the agency sung to new law uh, to new law when contrary to all known uh, civ uh, civility okay uh, discredited the temple of justice by rough handling so we're inside the courtroom uh, in the glare of the public while the letter was granting press interview after his arraignment on september 30. all right guys so that is the update i have for you don't forget uh, this is across nigeria where we publish news on politics celebrities and also metro story and please if this is your first time of um, uh, listening to our news or watching any of our video there is a red subscribe button uh, down the video below okay uh, just go ahead and click part of your effort to support us is to click on that red subscribe button it's actually free okay also click on the bell icon so you get instant notification whenever we have news like this to share with you guys but meanwhile the federal high court sitting in calabar cross river state um, and presided over by Justice Simon Amobida has denied journalists about Jalingo. Um, this is another case uh, that a lot of Nigerians are actually uh, looking at. So Jalingo was arraigned on September 25th on four count charges of treasonable felony almost, uh, not, not almost, just, just like the case of Omo Yele. Uh, Sawere, okay, uh, treasonable felony, terrorism, and attempt to topple the Cross River State government after 34 days in police custody. Justice um, Amobida, who also threw out the uh, preliminary objection of the prosecution counsel, held that the charges were grave with one carrying a capital punishment. He also said that um, one of the grounds for which bail was applied. Um, was for health condition and there was no substantial evidence to prove that his health was failing so jalingo was arrested and is being prosecuted for publishing just for publishing a report just for publishing a report exposing um, how governor ben ayade of cross river approved and immediately diverted 500 million naira meant for cross river state microfinance bank just for publishing okay just for publishing a report exposing how governor ben ayade of cross river approved and immediately diverted 500 million naira men for cross river microfinance bank and he was um charged for treasonable felony wow i feel like clapping right now seriously i just feel like clapping right now um well it is well so um so far guys that is the update i have for you please part of your effort to support us 
like i said is for you to subscribe and make sure you click on the bell icon so you get instant notification whenever we have story like this to share with you guys see you guys in another video